Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, November 17, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have uh, our uh, signal service over at Patreon. You're welcome to join that. You will get the full access to the commodities analysis uh, as well if you join that. So we'll start off by looking at the US dollar index. So... We uh, broke down quite significantly in the early in the session, but rallied a little bit. But at the moment, we are still in the red. And if you look at the technical indicators for the US dollar index, it still looks uh, quite negative. Um, but we have tried this before. We have found uh, quite a lot of support around this area at the 92 point, uh, um, 42. And at this, point, at this point, if that breaks, then we'll go to 92.20. And if with that breaks, then we'll go much lower. But it is not expected that that will break. Um, so we may see another day under, in the red and then turn around. Technical indicators for, for, the, um, for the US dollar index are quite uh, negative at this point. So this should pressure commodities in the indices and so on uh, up further we have seen some of the um, indices been uh, fairly uh, affected by the us dollar um, especially today so yes just keep that in mind we may see more depreciation in the us dollar a weakening in the us dollar and that of course will be positive for um, commodities and precious metals so if you look at oil which had an absolutely enormous day today we were up nearly four uh, percent when we rallied all the way from forty dollars forty eight point three dollars all the way up to uh, forty two point um, two dollars and this was mainly due to the fact that there is a new vaccine and that kind of news will definitely have an impact on this market so this is what happened when last time we uh, there was a, uh, news about a new vaccine. And this is what happened today when there was news about the vaccine. So it is fairly impossible to trade this market when there is that kind of news circling around. And the thing is, it's not vaccines that are available in the market. We don't know when they are going to be in the market. But just the news of a vaccine will just turn the market today upside down and better just to stay in the sidelines of, uh, when that kind of news breaks. Even though there is money to be gained, um, it's just too risky. It can just as well go the other way uh, than basically rally. So tomorrow we'll probably wake up for another day because we are fairly in the same place. We are still here, which is major resistant. We're stopped at this area here. And that is technically a sign. We have tried to rally significantly to the upside. Uh, this is what happened last time we got a vaccine. This is what happened today. And we had this breakdown for the three next day. And this won't be anything uh, any different. Expect a pullback towards the 50 moving average. Uh, probably not tomorrow, but on Wednesday, uh, Thursday, and Friday. Definitely a pullback. Technical indicators for 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 oil are quite mixed at this moment. They are more bullish than they are bearish. So MACD is bullish, the stochastic is flat, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is fairly flat. So at this point, we have tried to rally. We will just have to see tomorrow if we rally. This rally continues. We basically need to break these previous highs in order to get all the way to 50 and so on. So my best guess is that we'll break down towards the 50 moving average again. If that breaks, then we go back to the to the 200 moving average and then all the way down to the very low 0 33. At this point, that is probably very unlikely as the world economy is showing signs of life, not in the United States, but in Asia um, and so on, and not in Europe either. So it has to be seen, but this kind of news makes it really difficult to, to invest in this market. So if you look at natural gas, <clears throat> natural gas has broken down quite significantly. 
we actually have pierced the 50 moving average. And this is the first time we have pierced the 50 moving average since all the way back here. And that is uh, basically back in June. So this is going to be interesting. If we have another red candle underneath the 50 moving average, that may mean that we are basically end of this bull run here. And that we can basically turn and go towards the 200 moving average at this point. It is not is not uncommon we have basically seen these bull runs before we can basically see here and then we head back towards where we basically were it kind of depends on on demand <clears throat> if winter is going to be very very harsh then of course there will be a bounce um, in this market but if we are going to have a warm winter then don't expect a, a rally in natural gas you can expect a basically decline in natural gas due to the lack of, of demand. But we'll see. We are basically at the 50 moving average. If we get a green candlestick uh, above here tomorrow and break the top of this candlestick, that is a very um, significant uh, sign that we are going to go higher. On the, on, the, on the other hand, if we have a red candlestick underneath the 50 moving average, then watch out below, that because then we're basically going to target this area here at the 2.5. So technical indicators for natural gas are looking very negative at this point. Uh, both the MACD, Stochastic, CCI, and uh, RSI all are pointing to lower levels. So watch out for natural gas. So I have added copper again because copper did something interesting today. It rallied quite significantly to 3.25 and then crashed again all the way down to the previous highs here. So we landed up here and are trading at 3.2 at this point. And to be fair, this is mainly also due to the, the, to the news of the vaccine and so on. And also because the um, data from, from Asia was significantly better than people were expecting. So there is there, the world economy is showing signs of life. And when that is the case you will have rallies in copper, you have rallies in oil, and so on. At this moment, um, the technical indicators for, for copper are looking very promising. So we may see the another run towards the highs again tomorrow, but I expect more of this. So when everything comes down again, there will basically be a gradual decline towards the 50 moving average again. So if we see a red candle, and similar to this one tomorrow, that will maybe be a sign that we'll head towards the 50 moving average again. So a break below the 50 moving average opens the door to 2.8. And in the long run, I think that we'll go all the way down to 2.6. Um, yes. Go. So look at pallium. Palladium. So we were rallied quite significantly today, and if we manage to get a green candlestick above the 50 moving average, that means that we will target these highs of uh, 2.5. A break below the 50 moving average opens the door to these lows at 2.1. Technical indicators for palladium is um, very well, they are fairly flat, all of them. So it looks like the MACD is turning around, it looks also like the stochastic is turning around, and also the CCI. But RSI is fairly flat, so we need a signal that we are going higher or we need a signal that we are going lower in this market. We have been um, attached to the 50 moving average for quite some time, and uh, it looks like we're going to do uh, more of the same. So if you look at gold, we can see that we rallied quite significantly. Uh, we broke down quite significantly in the beginning and then rallied again. Um, but we are still trading underneath the 50 moving average. Uh, so at this point, um, we'll probably, uh, well, it's going to be more of the same. I'm still looking for for a, for a break uh, below the 1850 level and go towards the 1800 level. I don't expect us to break the 50 moving average. I definitely don't expect us to break through this resistant area here. Uh, I am looking for a break towards the 1800 level in order to buy this to and basically hold it. Technical indicators for this are are fairly flat. Um, so there's not a lot of life in, in gold at the point. But pay attention to the US dollar index. 
if that falls apart, then of course that will be really bullish for 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 gold. And if it starts appreciating, then it will be very negative for gold. Very similar to silver. Silver has pierced the uh, 50 moving average, and at the moment we are basically trading above the 50 moving average again. So we tried this um, only last week, and we failed, and we. Uh, we haven't basically made a run for these previous highs for a very, very long time. I think that we have to break uh, towards the 200, uh, no, the $20 um, level in order to get enough momentum to go to the upside. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this market, we can see that the first uh, Fibonacci retracement at uh, 38 is just around this area. That's why we are basically bouncing off that area. But if this area breaks and we go towards the 50, then we find the $20 range. And that is basically what I'm looking for in this market. Uh, no interest in basically buying here and no interest in basically selling. We're just technically waiting until or if we basically can get to that level. So if you look at Kokoa, Kokoa rallied as expected all the way up towards the 50 moving average. And at this point, I think that we are just going to turn around to this market. This is very similar to what happened only a few weeks ago. We rally up towards the 50 moving average. If we see a slight uh, weakness here, then that means that we are going to test these lows again at 2.233. And if those break, then we'll probably go all the way down to 2.0. On the other hand, if the 50 moving average breaks, then we are going to target this area, 2.5, and then to 2.0. Technical indicators for Kokoa are looking very promising, so we may have another run at the 50 uh, moving average, but that has to break in order for this market to go higher. So if you look at sugar, sugar market has basically exploded to the upside. So this was not what I expected. I expected a pullback towards the 50 moving average in order to, to uh, buy into this market. But at this point, it has gone the other way. And yeah, but you can't get all the trades, to be fairly honest. We are now very, very overstretched. Um, when a move like this, when you basically are overstretched already, and you get a move like this, it only means that the fall will be that much bigger when it basically comes. So we could basically see another completely reaction, uh, opposite reaction uh, with a red candlestick here tomorrow. Um, but that is to be seen. Um, technical indicators for this are looking very promising. We are almost overbought. We are 60, uh, 67 at this point. So um, still, it is impossible to buy it here. You will just completely destroy your account because it can fall. Um, and to sell it here, well, maybe. Um, I like pullbacks in order to buy them instead of basically uh, buying these shorts here. So if you look at wheat, wheat has pulled back from the 50 moving average and now it looks very promising. It looks like we are going to rally from here and we are going to go to 633. Uh, first of all, we uh, will run into a little bit of resistance here at uh, 609, but uh, 634 will be basically our target. Technical indicators for this are turning around, except for the MACD, but when you have a candlestick similar to that one, basically bouncing up the 50 moving average, that is a very encouraging sign, and that was also what we were looking for. We have a, a trend line here, which was barely there, which we are basically above now again. And um, it is the 50 moving average that is um, acting as support. So this is most likely going to go continue upwards. So we look at cotton. We can see that we have rallied quite significantly. And as expected as well, we ran into support here just above the 50 moving average also at the very at the trend line here and at this moment we are going to target 0.70 and if that breaks then we'll target these very highs at 0.72 technical indicators for this are all turning around 
However, I would be cautious because we have been here before. We have tried to rally, then traded sideways, broke down, up, and so on. So this is basically a continuation of the same move, the same um, uh, uh, price level that we have been in for, for several, uh, for almost two weeks now. So keep that in mind. This does not mean that we are going straight to the very highs and will continue further. A break below the 50 moving average is very unlikely, but a pullback towards the 50 moving average we could basically see that. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon in order to see our full technical analysis and also see our, all of our trades. So, thank you and good luck.